Hi everyone, today we are going to create another very interesting stroll animation on Framer which is very commonly used while displaying features and a lot of other things really. You'll find it across a lot of websites. Here I tried to make it slightly different by creating an image on mid journey and then editing it further on uh, Adobe Firefly by getting rid of the animals one by one. Like you can see, I created a pop out forest, out, uh, like a forest popping out of an iPhone. And then I got rid of the animals to create a story around it just for the tutorial purpose. And uh, yeah, let's just see how it's done. So let's just zoom into the artboard right here and we're going to make sure that the artboard is a stack, which it is. So inside the artboard, I'm going to create another frame and I'm going to just ensure it is um, with this fill and we're going to set the height. I'm just going to let the height be for now. Let's just change maximum width to fixed and make it 1200. Uh, and let's just adjust the height slightly here. So that's good. And now we're going to get rid of the fill right here. I'm going to select the frame and I'm going to ensure it's a stack again. So I'm going to turn on the layout and uh, I'm going to create another frame inside the stack. And we are going to again change the height this time to viewport and uh, width, let's just change it to 360. So that is done. And now here I'm going to select the, having the selected, I'm going to get rid of the fill again. Um, the text right here that I have, which is going to scroll, I'm going to drag it inside this new frame and I'm going to just place it in a way that it comes in the center, but let's just first rename it. I'm going to call this story container and the parent of it as story. And uh, let's just select the text and add another stack around it. So here, let's just name it story one, even though it's the first part of the story, let's just name it story one. And I'm going to select the stack story one, and I'm going to change it to fit content. Um, no, actually, I have to change this to, I have to change story container into a stack because I want story one to be, um, fill con to be in a fill content and we we'll change the height to viewport so yeah that is done and now i'm going to make sure that um this is story one i'm going to select it again and i'm going to make sure the alignment is left and i'm going to make sure it's center which it is so this looks good now what i have to do is i have to um make sure the desktop frame is set to fit content the height Similarly, the story uh, stack is also set to fit content. So now this looks nice. Uh, this looks nice. And we are going to just drag and drop the first image into the stack right next to the text. And just let's just resize it in a way so it looks better and proportionate to the text. Um, I'm going to get rid of the gap here because the image already has a lot of padding within. So no extra padding needed. And uh, I'm going to select story one and I'm going to duplicate it because I want to have, I want to add the other parts to it as well. But as you can see, it's going out of the frame. Let's check why that's happening. That is because it's set to center. Let's just change it to start. But even then it's not really fitting. Well, I think I have done a mistake here. The mistake is that I have, um, Let's just rename this meanwhile, just name it to illustration one. So the mistake that I've done here is I've set story to container to viewport it will be fit content. Yeah. So that it sort of the content or uh, the size of the screen keeps changing with the content that we have. And I'm going to make sure that the story that the screen is set to the top of the page. So that is done. Now I have this. But now when I scroll it, you'll see that the image is scrolling with the text. We don't want that. We want it to be sticky. So I'm going to select the image here and I'm going to change this to uh, position to sticky. Don't, I won't add any padding here. And, um, but it's still not working. That's because I have again not changed the 
overflow settings here so all the parent layers will have a different setting it will be uh, changed to visible so overflow will be visible here instead of hidden and now when i see uh, the scroll it will be working finely yeah so that is done let's just resize it slightly and um, hmm, this looks better so now the next step here is we have to make sure that we the content inside the frame uh, the iphone changes how will that be let's just uh, create a component here and it's just called illustration when one well the spelling is bothering so i'll just quickly adjust that and create a component here so this is done i'm going to go back to home and bring in all my images i'm going to select that and drag them and drop them to my assets page so it's basically just copying and pasting please don't get me wrong for dragging and dropping that's not uh, really what i'm doing here and i'm going to resize all these to the size of the component 798 pixels i'm going to add a variant i'm going to copy and paste this inside of variant 2 so now that animal has been added here i'm going to do that for the others as well so i'm going to create another variant variant 3 and i'm going to copy this and um, just paste it right here so you'll see it's already added in the previous uh it got added in the previous variant as well i'm going to get rid of that and um, i'm going to repeat this process till i do all my five parts so that is done now let's just get let's just get rid of the images here and i'm going to rename all these layers to story one story two and so on till story five <clears throat> um, let's just go back to the home page and let's just get rid of all the images here as well now we need to have all the text in the pages on the page as well so we have five parts to the story so i'm going to duplicate this five times and i'm going to replace the text here from my reference text on the side let's just copy paste it and um, do it for all the five well that was just a quick transition and that is done now we'll have to add an effect here so we'll go to effects we'll go to scroll variant so that the image changes we'll go to section in view that will be the trigger and the viewport i'll set it to center because while it is in center i want the image to change and replay option will be yes and to we don't have any sections here we have all the variants but no sections that's because we have to rename the sections that that is what will define when the which section which scrolling will happen so uh, let's just name this first section as story one another section as story two and similarly let's just quickly do that for the rest of it as well story three this is really just one story i'm just naming it to be story one story two because that's how i started <clears throat> so yeah that's done so now what i'm going to do is you'll see that i got an option to add the section here so section one will have story one section two story two will have story two variant story three will have story three and so on we'll do it for story four and story five mm, yeah so now when we view it we'll see how the animals are getting added the curious raccoon the playful fox and the majestic deer so it's happening very nicely and smoothly plus the gradient on the background is also adding a very nice day to night effect uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time